So the Grammys are in town, and today we're at the beautiful Encore Tower Suites. So you know your boy's about to go upstairs to get fly. I got my tux with me. Let's go check this suite out. And now, I'm red carpet ready. A historic episode of Vegas On is here as we look ahead to this weekend's Grammy Awards, which are coming to Las Vegas for the very first time. Then go backstage at the longest running Cirque du Soleil show in Las Vegas. After that, we'll sink our teeth into some delicious seafood in our Try This Dish segment, and we'll take a behind the scenes look at the one group that dances to the music here every night and always in perfect harmony, the iconic Fountains of Bellagio. It's all right here and right now. Welcome to Vegas On. When you think of Win Las Vegas, one word always comes to mind, and that's elegance. And man, this place has it everywhere. Even in this beautiful atrium right behind me, it screams luxury. I'm your host, Terry Lashley, welcoming you to another episode of Vegas On your guide to the best shows, restaurants, and experiences in Las Vegas. Now Cirque du Soleil shows have been a staple in Las Vegas for a very long time. And it all began with Mystere inside Treasure Island. This all ages show has been captivating crowds for over a quarter century with more than 12,000 performances and counting. Let's take a closer look. Thanks, Terry. We're here at the Mystere Theater in Treasure Island. This show is one of the original Cirque du Soleil shows here in Las Vegas. It's been running since 1993. We are going to show you behind the scenes. We're going to show you some of the incredible acrobats. There's a reason that people keep returning to this show year after year. Coach, let's talk about what we're seeing here. This is not easy. No, this takes a lot of strength, practice, training. The more complicated falls, you have to be really careful with the wrapping, the whole procedure to make sure that she's safe and secure all the time. Maya is wrapped up now in what we call a key, and it's very intricate, so it takes a lot of training to learn all the different various keys. Incredible. And Coach, you keep talking about the key, so explain that, what is it? So when we do a wrap so that the, the artist can do specific maneuvers, we call it a key. And that can be around the waist, the leg, the knee, the ankle, the wrist. There's all kinds of different keys. Um, sometimes you'll have multiple keys in order so that they can perform multiple sequences in a row. And it's very important that everything goes wrapped in the correct order so that all those maneuvers will happen seamlessly and beautifully, hopefully. Wow, it's incredible. And this is just one of the many things that go on yeah. backstage. So let's keep the tour going. Tim Smith is the artistic director. He tells us how Mystere has managed to stay both familiar and innovative over its nearly 30 year run. We celebrate the human element, the human skill set of these amazing Cirque du Soleil artists. And probably 70% of our show takes place in the air. That's their office. That's where they feel the most comfortable. It's an amazing show because of the acrobatics and it has become something that people come back and see year after year. I'm here with world-class tumbler Grisha. What are we seeing behind us? This must take years to perfect. Yeah, uh, we gotta be on the same page with, with my uh, friends and colleagues. I would say speed is a big factor, timing and accuracy. Wow, what we just saw blows my mind. Can you believe these Olympic level athletes do this 10 times a week? You have to see Mystere in person. It is a must see Vegas show. Thank you so much for showing us around. Meanwhile, let's take a look at what's happening now around town. We've got some of this year's Grammy nominees performing, including L. King at Westgate and Billie Eilish at T-Mobile Arena. Vegas is also home to hilarious comedy acts like Amy Schumer and Friends at the Mirage. Your adrenaline will be racing just like the cars when you catch the National Hot Rod Association four wide nationals at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Here's the rest of this week's lineup.
It's a beautiful day at Win Las Vegas, and we're standing on the SW Steakhouse patio, where the only thing that rivals the food is the beautiful views of the Lake of Dreams. This is one of my favorite places to bring my wife for the special occasions. So let's go inside and see what's cooking. I'm here with Mark LaRusso, the executive chef of SW Steakhouse. How you doing, Mark? I'm doing well, thank you. Now, you guys are known for your awesome steaks, but today we got something very special for the audience, for all the seafood lovers. Tell me about this dish here. Okay, we are really proud of our steak program, but today we have a wild branzino, which is great for the spring with the weather getting warmer. It's a wild branzino with artichokes, fennel, lemon, a light vinaigrette, a little bit of tomato, and peppers. All right, Mark, my wife would love this dish, but I see we have two glasses of wine here. Tell me about this wine. Um, we got a Pinot Grigio here. You, you'd want something clean and crisp to complement the fish, not to overpower it. So I would go with a Pinot Grigio myself. You know what? I'm kind of a steak guy. So what do you have for all of us steak lovers? We got you covered. Here's our 42 ounce tomahawk. Oh my goodness. All, all this for me? This is amazing. Can you tell me about this dish? Yeah, this is a 45 day uh, dry aged tomahawk, 42 ounces. We broil about 700 degrees. It's good for two people. Okay, it looks like it's good for two people. And you know what? Is there anything else on the menu that stands out to you that is a must try when we come to your restaurant? I think our new shellfish towers is great for big groups. You can try lots of different shellfish. There's a whole show with the dry eyes. Um, we have a great Japanese Kobe program, and we also have American Kobe Wagyu's Snake River Farms, which I think is a notch above. Mark, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you. Guys, it's gonna take more than one to clean this plate. You gotta try this dish. And now, let's go from one spectacular man-made lake to another and join Sean McAllister for a behind-the-scenes look at one of Las Vegas' top attractions, the Fountains of Bellagio. Hey, thanks, Terry. We are here at the world-famous Fountains of Bellagio. Will Flores is one of the divers that keeps everything operational and making it a spectacle for everyone around the world. And Will, I have to imagine that this view right here is a view that very few people get to see. Million dollars, <laughs> million dollars. I couldn't afford this view, I'm glad I work here. Now, when you look at the planning for the choreography of a fountain show, about how much time goes into the planning for like every minute that we see of a show? Well, people don't realize just how complex it is to make a show, so it takes approximately one hour for one minute of play per show. Wow, so I mean, that is a ton of planning that goes into it. Correct, uh, and coordination. What I forgot to mention also is we also have uh, the light show that's involved with that. That also has to be choreographed with that music and the oarsmen and the shooters. <sighs> Long. <laughs> Did you want to shoot off a shooter? Okay, so those are the mini shooters. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, these are the super shooters. Okay. So, Show control, please let me know when you're ready for supers. Ready for the supers. Ready? I'm ready. Three, Three two, two, one, one. fire. Oh. That's incredible. It gets me every time. Goosebumps, look. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> and it, it creates its own weather. As you can see, it's still raining out there. <laughs> Incredible. Will, thanks so much for taking us behind the scenes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks, Sean. While the excitement in Las Vegas is always on, there is truly something special about this weekend and the city that never stops, as some of the most iconic musicians arrive to the world-famous Strip. And if you need further proof that Las Vegas has emerged as the music capital of the world, let's check out some of the amazing talent that you'll find on stage in the coming weeks. So this is how it feels to be red carpet ready in Vegas, just like this weekend's Grammy winners. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining us this week 
for another packed episode of Vegas On. In fact, I have a list right here, starting with my fifth grade teacher who told me that I was a clown and that I'd always be funny. Thank you, Mrs. Johnson. What, uh, what? Clearly, my time is up. This is Terry Lashley reminding you to stay Vegas On at visitlasvegas.com. The beautiful Encore Tower Suites, so you know that. Blah, blah, blah. Get warmed up, Cirque du Soleil style. Well, not quite. These guys are incredible. So, Will, is this wetsuit your your normal day-to-day -day outfit? Yes, this is my this is actually my my work uniform. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for two people. Okay, it looks like it's good for two people. <laughs> and now, let's blast. See, he totally did. It. No, I'm joking. Let's go from one. Okay.